never know what you're going to find in the ocean. Oh no, shell. Kathy found a shell. You found this shell. I, I found ah! a different shell. Mine's actually prettier. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice shell. But you know, you might find other things like this. <laughs> I can use that in my shop. It's in pretty good shape, and it's something very useful. You never know what you're gonna find at the beach. pre-summer morning. We are still in May. Uh, the sun is out. It's going to be a beautiful, gorgeous day here in Malibu, but I'm not going to spend the day in Malibu. Today, I'm headed out to Irwindale Speedway. A big thanks to Chrysler for sending me this brand new uh, Pacifica van. We'll get into that in a uh, separate vlog a little bit later. But I'm going to a Toastmasters event. I'm going to be given the keynote address uh, for today. If you're unfamiliar with Toastmasters, which I, I can't imagine that you would be, but if you don't know what Toastmasters is, it's a, a great group of people that are all helping each other to learn how to be public speakers, how to improve their lives through sharing their knowledge, and a great way to hang out and be with friends. So I got about an hour's drive ahead of me out to Irwindale from Malibu. If I'm lucky enough to spot some coffee, which I which I literally just passed, oh, then I'll be fully fueled. But it's gonna be an awesome day. Thanks for joining me. This is Fireball Malibu Vlog. solely responsible for dragging me out here to one of the coolest places on the planet for this. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, tell, tell these guys what Toastmasters is. Toastmasters is the premier place to level up yourself. Speaking, leading, most importantly, confidence. And this is the place to do it. And being a badass, uh, we'll get Being a badass, <laughs> leap. Yeah, we'll get into that. Well, thank you for having me. What do you guys plan on doing right now? Right now, we're gonna do blindfold driving, the ultimate team exercise. This is gonna be great, and this is capping off our Ignite event. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much okay. for coming. Cool. Uh, no, no pressure at all whatsoever. Um, thank you, Karen, for having me, and, uh, and thank you, everybody, who made uh, what I would surmount to be about a thousand-mile drive among all of you. <laughs> I'd like to thank my buddy Ken, who's here with me today. He went to Chicago, brought his shirt back. <laughs> <laughs> we have a responsibility to make choices, right? You know, this this is our life right here. This, as human beings, fulfillment is important, right? So. My, my story, just to kind of cliff note it as a kind of thing, when I was a kid, my parents only gave me two things. And the only two things that I wanted, I wanted art supplies and toy cars. And, and I liked cars because I wasn't so much the car itself, it was that what a car was uh, It was the journey. I, I, was, I was addicted to the journey. I loved getting in the car because we had five kids. We all got in the car. It was this excitement that we're going to go somewhere. And we went to go to the movies and we would go do certain things. And I just loved that. I didn't really care what we were driving. I just wanted to go and have a good time. And that choice, that anticipation, that expectation to have a good time resulted in what? I always had a good time. But now, being aware, you can make a choice. You can get in your car and you can say, oh, I got to go and I got to go pick this guy up. We got to take him to the airport. You know, it's a big loop, it's five o'clock in the afternoon. What you don't realize is that, that you're pushing out. You get back and guess what? You get all this traffic, you get those annoying people doing all this stuff. But if you make a conscious decision and say, you know what, it doesn't matter. Because I'm, I'm grateful to be able to get to him. I'm grateful to be able to drive on this freeway. I even got a car. I'm grateful to be able to listen to my music. To do to make good choices and guess what miraculously the drive is actually pretty pretty interesting you start seeing things you didn't see before you know, people are waving at you instead of pumping you up they're doing all kinds of stuff so i went to our center become a car designer found out that detroit not not really that great of a town 
don't know. Maybe it's just me. But you're you're either uh, uh, you know chugging on smoke or you're uh, freezing your ass off. <laughs> you know, if I have a choice, California, where you, you know serve, you can just imagine you're going to be one. Everything's good. People are smiling most of, most of the time. Or Detroit. You know. So I decided to stay here. And then around seventh term. I thought, you know, car designer, seven years, ten year cycle before something you design actually comes to fruition. You know what? I did something else. So I called up the guys at Disney Imagineering. People were saying, oh, you don't know how are you? You're a car designer. I'm like, oh, okay, well, let's just find out. It's just, okay, hard to ask, right? And I call them up. I say, hey, come on over to Art Center. Check out this presentation of what I'm doing. They come over and they offer me a job. They get paid twice what the car guys are getting. <laughs> So I went to I went to Disney Imagineering. I worked on the Indiana Jones ride in Tomorrowland. I met my wife there. She was the colorist of Toontown. You know the land that they just destroyed to make Star Wars land. <laughs> Got married. Started our own business, 1991, and then my foot has been on the gas ever since. The, the two greatest words in the human language. Anyone know what they are? It's I am because. You get the choice of what you put after that. I am sick. I am tired. I'm irritated. I'm annoyed. So today, I'm going to convince you guys some of this. This is really cool. This is, this is where the offense comes in, so forgive me for this. Now, the thing is, about being a badass, about making the choice, is you got to own it. You gotta be convinced that you are what you say you are. I love your hair, by the way. Yeah, she have cool hair. Yes. 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 Cool. yes, she's beaming now. Look at that. Yeah, she just turned red. <laughs> yeah, people are afraid of change, aren't they? Yes, they are. Anybody here have an issue with change? Yeah. Yeah, change is nice, scary, right? Why, why is change so scary? It's different. That's different. We don't know what's around the corner. So what? Be able to cope with change. Knowledge. Knowledge? Confidence. Confidence? No, positive attitude. Positive attitude? Faith. Denial. Ability to adapt. Well, hold on now. <laughs> <laughs> well, the woman who's afraid of change tells me she needs faith. Now, you guys said that. Yeah, you know that, don't you? In order for you to cope with change, what gives you fuel to become this? I'm going to reference back to this from time to time. <laughs> so, so you're aware. The <laughs> woman may not say it, but they'll all refer to it. <laughs> COVID changes, you need faith, right? And faith comes in all kinds of levels. Speedway where they have some pretty amazing cars several of which uh, Ken has built mm -hmm. haven't you Ken? They're not quite finished yet but uh, <laughs> fine art in, in pro project, uh, progress. Yeah but they you know you can tell the potential of some of these uh, and, and which direction he's gonna go with them. Well, <clears throat> like 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 this one for chance right there. This one here I just put together I, I just thought a fireball this is how I, how I envision it just and that's from being blindfolded too. It's pretty awesome. And that's how good he is. Mm, look at that, that, the clear coat. Hey, easy on the parts there, buddy. Oh, look at this one over here. This is, this is working. Tell me about this one over here. Look at, look at that. That, you know, that's, uh, I think there's some carbon fiber going on in there. It just happens to be from another car. Oh, and look at, look at this. That's a beauty. Hmm, like it. Here's a, here's a new model from Chrysler. Really nice. Yeah, that's actually... Uh, Comes with its own bottle of water. Jonathan Banks would love this one. Yeah. 
That's what he drives. It's a Jonathan Banks special. That, that is awesome. How did you get that texture? It's top secret, it's four dimensional, not three dimensional, it's four dimensional. <sighs> For those that uh, might have a little bit of an issue with four wheels, we have the non-wheels version. I gotta tell you, man, you, you know what you're doing. You know, it's really hard to, uh, I mean, this, this was a brand new 2017. To make it look like this does take uh, a, a lot of time and effort. We're in customs and we've got some fantastic cars here that you would not believe. Check this baby out here. A little bit of a crunch, but not too bad. We can straighten this out, maybe even buff it, but don't worry about that. She comes complete with everything you see here and more. If you need door closures, we've got custom. We can fit any budget, anytime, anywhere. We can do it and we will do it. And we do the best work. As you can see, this fine quality, this just rolled in. One of my favorite numbers also too. I think I'm gonna make this my personal card, number 13. We love numbers of like 13. This is great. This has no motor. Check this baby out here. If you're feeling illegal and you want signs, we've got it right here. This is custom. 100%, we can do it, we will do it. Your budget, any budget, we will do it today, tomorrow, anytime, weekend, Mother's Day. By the way, happy Mother's Day. <laughs>